now we're taking you to Charleston's Custom Hat Bar and Maker Mall featuring over 50 local Charleston artists and makers. Southern Roots, our Reagan Ranzer tries out this one of a kind experience in the heart of Charleston's historic district that allows you to immerse yourself in local art and fashion. We're here at Southern Roots where they make the cutest hats. As you can see right now, we're here with the owner. I'm going to have you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your business. Yeah, so my name is Laura Both, and I'm the owner of Southern Roots downtown here in Charleston. Um, so we make custom hats. So we are what is basically called a hat bar. So um, folks get to come on in. They get to choose their type of hat they want from uh, any types of our four tiers within the hats and then really get crazy and start to pick out whatever they want on it. So everyone wants walks away with something completely different and personalized. We kind of have a little bit of everything for everyone. So we also have some trucker hats where we get to add custom patches, which is cool. Um, we have straw hats. We have 100% Australian wool hats. And I'm wearing one of our luxury blends, which you know we offer a bunch of the different colors. And we get the opportunity to actually shape the crown for guests as they come in. So we can do different types of shapes, all the way from like a skull to a heart, anything traditional, like a teardrop, what I'm wearing, cowboy crease. like. It's so many options. Yeah. It's so much fun. It's endless. Yes. You can do whatever you want. Exactly. <laughs> and I do want to talk about your space because when I walked in, I was just in awe. It's yeah. so beautiful. You have different rooms back there. I'm going to let you kind of talk about that. Yeah. Um, I know that you said you host bachelor parties and bachelorette and a bunch of different kind of group events. Yes. Um, so. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, so we turned what was an old law firm into what you know you see here is our hat bar. So we had to get a little bit creative on how we could use these office spaces. And obviously, like bachelorette and bachelor parties are really popular down here. So we wanted to make sure we had uh, you know a space where these people could really hang out and have their own party, but also kind of be a part of the upper part of the store as well. You know, just really interacting with everyone. Um, so we've converted those old offices into those party rooms, a real focused bachelorette party, which we call the garden party suite which is, you know, very Love Shack fancy style, like so flowers cute. hanging from the ceiling, um, our velvet pink couch. Um, and then we have what we call the cigar parlor, which is a very masculine type of space where we have the old original walnut walls from that head law office, the original tile, which we've um, painted stars on it to really kind of bring that like old Charleston vibe. Yeah. So yeah, they're really cool. Come on down and, and make a hat. Like I said, we're we're open for you know you to create whatever you'd like on your hat and then shop upstairs and there's lots of cool stuff like throughout the entire building. So come on down and visit us and check it out. Perfect. Should we go make one now? Yeah. All right, let's go do it. <laughs> So we have, uh, like I mentioned, a couple different styles and um, tiers of hats. So what we have in front of us right now, this is our 100% Australian wool. Um, so this is in our Jack and Coke. We name all of our hats Ew. after bar drinks, just because, you know, we are a hat bar. So what we do with these, they start as an open crown. So like I mentioned, we get to shape all these into different styles. Um, so we just put it on the steamer, let it hang out for a little bit, get it all nice and um, soft so we can start to mold it. And again, these are all shaped by hand. But overall, just kind of getting it in the shape that it needs to be. If we need to put it back on the steamer, we can. And then just making sure everything is kind of in line here. That's our teardrop style. That is cute. Oh my goodness. <laughs> then also upstairs, you have 
a ton of vendors up there mm -hmm. that you can go and kind of shop from. Yeah, exactly. So uh, again, we turned the old law office into you know a really neat space. So upstairs, what used to be the old library, we now have local uh, Charleston women artists renting out some of the spaces and the shelves, and they get the opportunity to really make the space their own. So like we wanted to kind of give back to where we started at markets, you know, where we've met a lot of these people throughout you know our time being a vendor, and now that we have this store, it just, it just felt right to really start to create like this vendor community upstairs and that's what we're doing and you know it's it's a really neat space we've all become like very great friends and it's it's been a fun time to meet other local women artists as well